Happening this weekend, a special show in the sky tomorrow morning, but you'll have to be careful to be sure you don't damage your eyes. In our part of Arizona, you'll be able to see an annular eclipse of the sun as the moon moves between the earth and the sun. You should be able to see the partial eclipse beginning just after eight in the morning. The effect will peak just after 9.30. The U of A's Flandro Science Center says, looking at the sun will damage your eyes unless you use special eclipse watching goggles. Landro is selling appropriate goggles for $5 with the money to go towards a science education. You see them there. The Science Center is hosting a free eclipse watching event beginning at 8 in the morning. It'll give you a chance to see the eclipse through a special telescope. Landro is on the U of A campus at the corner of University and Cherry. And the big question, Kyler, is, well, how much of an eclipse will we see and will the clouds kind of part in time for us to see it. I am, I'm hoping so because we are seeing the clouds rolling through tonight and they're going to kind of hang with us all through the night into tomorrow morning. Now if you want to see this eclipse to almost 100% well you'd have to be just south of Portland, Oregon stretching over to Albuquerque, San Antonio. But for us as we zoom in on Arizona we're going to be in that 75 to 85 percent range, maybe a little bit higher as you go towards Flagstaff and into the Grand Canyon area. Now in Tucson, the eclipse will start just after eight o'clock in the morning and it will peak at 933. And then this all comes to an end shortly after 11 o'clock in the morning. So the big question is, yes, will we be able to see it? What's going to happen with these clouds? Well, we do think they're going to move to the east a little bit and we'll be on the back edge of those clouds in a line from about Safford to Tucson to Green Valley to Aravaca. However, over Cochise County through the duration of the eclipse, we will see some high clouds, but I think they're going to be thin enough where we'll be able to see through that a little bit and temperatures are going to be really nice in the 60s to start and in the 80s to finish.